So hey, Josh Cantwell back again, and we're in yet another case study at Verona Drive. What I wanna teach you and tell you about is anytime you're gonna buy a property to purchase it, rehab it, and sell it, right? Do a fix and flip. You gotta have a plan B or even a plan C. So we're gonna talk about that in this video. Now, as I walk around the house, I'm gonna give you some of the numbers. The original loan that we made on this property to our student who's doing this deal, we made him a loan for $76,000. And that included the purchase price, and the rehab budget of about 40 grand. And when he got started on the project, he had a contractor that he was gonna work with, and the contractor basically took his first $20,000, did very minimal work, and basically disappeared. And so he's obviously left with the house, can't find the contractor, can't find the money, not sure exactly what to do with it. What we ended up doing is making him another $10,000 loan, a supplemental loan, and he invested another $10,000 of his own money. So he's now into it for over $95,000. Now the good news is, the plan B, is the property appraised for $115,000, leaving him over $20,000 of equity, and leaving him enough room in his monthly mortgage payment to rent the property out and sell it on a rent to own or rent the property out. There's basically this first floor, two bedrooms. They redid the hardwood floors, beautiful hardwood floors took care of all the walls, sanded them down, painted them all. They got new windows in, so new windows in the property as well, which is fantastic. That was part of the original $40,000 budget. They redid most of the bathroom. They saved the bathtub, which we do also in a lot of our houses. We save the bathtub, reglaze it, clean it up, new vanity, new toilet in there. And then back here, you have the second bedroom. Again, small bedroom with a door that goes out to the back porch. So this is the first floor. There's only about 850 square feet on the first floor of this property. You have a full upstairs, enough room in the master bedroom. Right here, you have another closet around the corner. And obviously master bedroom would go there. And then you also have a master bath right here. So upstairs, you, again, you got new windows, new carpet, paint, cleaned up all the walls, all new fixtures. Brand new bathroom, so nice big bathroom here. You got full shower all new tile up here around the top, new vanity, new toilet, new sink, and a nice big open area. Obviously, you could put some sort of table right here with your linens and things like that, or even put a small linen closet here along the side. What we're basically doing is we're working with our student, get him a refinance loan, basically a six-month bridge loan, to reduce his interest rate, allow him to cash flow the property over the next six months, and then get in a situation where he can refinance again and move into a conventional loan with a conventional lender. With the new bridge loan that we're gonna make, he's gonna be able to rent the property out for about $1,300 to $1,400 a month, and his mortgage payment with principal, interest, taxes, and insurance is gonna be about $1,050 a month. So he's gonna make about $200 a month in positive cash flow. So that's a plan B, that's a saving grace. He's also gonna be into this house for about $95,000 with our money and his money, and the after repaired value, the appraised value, is gonna be about $115,000, leaving him about $20,000 of equity. When you're doing a buy, fix, and flip, things can go wrong, things can go over budgets, contractors can disappear. Although that's a very small percentage of the time, you wanna make sure that you're buying these properties and rehabbing them and make sure you're all in at about 65 to 70% of the after repair value in case something like this happens to you. Okay, that's why when we make investments to students and we make loans and when I borrow money from private lenders, that's why I wanna be all in and I wanna make loans at 65 to 70% because if something like this happens, guess what? Plan B, there's still $200 a month of cash flow and there's still $20,000 of equity. Hope you enjoyed our latest training video on Verona Avenue, and we'll see you on the next one very, very soon.